DTH, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. How are you feeling? It must be pretty surreal. Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting times to be back in Glasgow. Um, you know, it's obviously a special place to me. I spent six years of my life here. You know, it's like a second home. Um, yeah, and I'm just massively excited to, to be here now. And you're here right away, ready to play. Tell us about how that came around. Yeah, well, things just haven't quite worked out at uh, Newcastle the way I wanted it to be. And, um, you know, lucky enough, I've made a good enough impression in my time spent at, uh, at Glasgow that um, they offered me to, you know, come back um, now and then, you know, extend my career here uh, for the next couple of years. When Glasgow phoned up, was there any... Is there any doubt in your mind or were you always gonna you always gonna come back? No, it was always gonna happen, you know. Obviously I've gotta ask the boss, the old lady, uh, first off, but um, you know, for her it's it's something, you know, that she'd obviously want to take on as well because she knows everyone here. It's a, a city that she's familiar with. Um, I think if it you know it was a new place that we had to go and, you know, you know, simple things like learning where to live and the streets and stuff like that probably um, wouldn't have happened, but um, no, you know, we're all familiar with the staff, the players and the, the surrounding areas that, you know, it was an easy decision. And you're just shy of 100 caps and you've got a top try scorer record to project as well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I obviously, I thought about it a lot, the, you know, finishing on 96 with, with Glasgow and it's just something, you know, you want to, you know, get to that 100 milestone and something special. Um, you know, you look at international rugby, there's, you know, 50 caps and 100 caps players and it's obviously special in that sense. But, um, you know, I would have liked to have, you know, when I did leave and on 100, but who knows, uh, who would have known I'd come back and uh, now I've got, got the time to, you know, get there. Did you get in touch with anyone? Are there any people that you've stayed in touch with who, who you spoke about making your decision? Well, yeah, it was, it was pretty easy. Um, I spoke to Tommy a bit. I spoke to um, Stuart Hogg and um, Ryan Wilson, um, and you know those are guys that's been here for a long time. Again, my my family is very familiar with with their families, and uh, you know so it made a pretty easy decision. Your last game for Glasgow was in a Pro 12 final. You've since gone on to win another one of those. Yeah. Are you coming here to win more finals? Is that is that the aim? Oh, it definitely is. Um, you know, I think uh, Glasgow has so far done really well this season. They put themselves in a really good position. Now it's just you know time to focus on you know finishing the season as as good as they they started it. Um, it's it's something that's very addictive. Um, when you once when you when you win the one, you know it's it's surreal, um, and it just gets more special the second time. So it's something I'd want to do again. You, you continuously have that itch, and you continue want to work work harder to get there again, and and make the, maybe those teammates that haven't experienced it, you know, get that taste of a victory and bring some uh, silverware back to, you know, what is a proud uh, supporters fans club here in Glasgow. Well, if we do get there, you. You only ever score tries in finals. That's, that's what you do. So maybe that's why you were signed. Uh, I'd love to. And, um, you know, if I'm lucky enough to make that team, um, you know, I'll do my best to to cross over the the whitewash for my team. Looking back at your your first stint here, are there any apart from maybe the final win? Are there any particular highlights? Maybe playing in front of the Scotsman crowd. Yeah. Well, I think uh, the biggest one for me at Scotsman would have been that semi final. Um, I. Just a couple months before that, broke my hand, and I thought, you know, that was the the end of my season. Um, I had to get surgery, and you know, I did everything I can to get back. And luckily enough, uh, Gregor gave me a chance to be on the bench in that game. Um, and I came on, and we ended up, you know, Finn kicking it from the corner after the, the spectacular pass over the top um, to take it. It was 17-16, I believe, uh, for the win. Um, you know, that was something special. I still remember this crowd just going absolutely insane. Um, so I'm looking forward to a few more moments like that. I was going to say, how do you think you'll feel when, when your next appearance comes around? Do you think you'll be nervous before you run out? No, I don't think nervous, but uh, like even now thinking about it, I get a bit of goosebumps because uh, it's a special place to me. Uh, there's no hiding behind that. Like I, I love being here. It's a great city, great supporting um, fans, and everyone makes you feel really welcome here. You mentioned some of the old faces, but there are new faces, and you've yeah. been at training a couple of days now. What do, yeah. what do you make of those guys? Yeah, I think everyone's you know brought in a little a different style of uh, play that we might, might not have in the past. You know, um, some really good centres um, with Nick Griggs and um, Hugh Jones and Sam. Um, so I think. Those are the type of guys you that bring into a club to you know make it better, and I think uh, Glasgow's recruitment has been really good. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about the forwards because I don't know much about that, but I think as a backline, I think they've they've uh, you know brought back Nico as well. So those are exciting times, and you know it's always guys you, you look for something that you can bring special to a team, and they've done that. You mentioned Nico; he's come back. Jacko came back. Yeah. Did seeing how successful they've been on their return did that? Yeah. 
play on your mind and when you saw how well they were doing did that give you a little idea of oh maybe I could do the same? Yeah well you always hope that um, but it, I think that the biggest thing is that it speaks volumes about the club that people want to come back you know uh, sometimes things don't work out in your first attempt maybe you only spend a couple of years here but luckily enough I did six um, but it's always in the back of the mind you know could I finish my career could I come back to Glasgow it's up to those kind of things uh, it's always in the back of their mind and yeah, Jacko and Nico coming back is, is, is a big positive for the club and for them themselves as players as well, so yeah, hopefully it's the same for me. So six years down here, two to go, Yeah. have you set yourself any goals? Is there something you want to achieve in, your, in a Glasgow Warriors No, uh, No, I don't think so, I just I think I want to just you know keep going from where I, for where I left off with the, with the club um, and just you know obviously help, um, help them win again um, would, be, would be really special for me.